What's going on, my Trader Club? We are going to check out the top counters for Reshiram in Pokemon Go to help you max out. So with all that said, you know what time it is. Welcome to the Trader Club. Here we go. Welcome back, everybody. Let me know. Are you guys excited for Reshiram coming back into Pokemon Go? I don't know about you guys, but I am super stoked on this. So what we're going to do today is break down the top tips to help you guys in the counter guide for Reshiram and Pokemon Go because this Pokemon is getting a brand new moveset as well. So this Pokemon is entering raid battles. I mean, it says on December 31st that the event is starting, but it is definitely going to be taking over on the 1st. So Reshiram will be here with us for a little while. At the time of this video, I don't know exactly how long it's going to be, but it's going to be probably for at least a week. And then I am anticipating, which we'll see if it does come true that Zekrom is going to be coming next and if you guys do want more raid battles you can check the discord jump into the pinned comments or you guys can check in the patreon that's going to be another great place to help you guys max out on these raid battles i'm excited for these pokemon it's great to see them back in pokemon go i'm going to be doing a lot of these pokemon raids so with that said now let's get into the counter guide for restaurant and pokemon go so this pokemon is going to be a dragon and a fire type pokemon which means it's only going to have three weaknesses based on all the other cancellations of these two combinations the three weaknesses are going to be dragon ground as well as rock Rock. So look at that guys. We have three weaknesses a lot of resistances definitely excited to check out the best of the best for this Pokemon coming up very soon because man this Pokemon is going to be good and the new move does look like it is going to be even better with fusion flare which then leads us on to the 100% IV. So for this Pokemon 2307 is going to be at level 20. There are going to be two conditions that are going to alter the CP and that is going to be windy weather as well as sunny weather and that's going to boost the restaurant all the way to level 25 at 2884. These CPs are the exact same as its counterpart that it's going to be Reshiram instead of the fire with the electric type. And obviously this Pokemon does have a shiny out. It is pretty much the same body but the rings around the necks do turn from gray into gold. And then as far as the movesets go, it is going to have quick moves that are going to be Fire Fang as well as Dragon Breath and its charge moves are going to be Overheat, Draco Meteor, Stone Edge as well as Crunch Combination. So for a grand total of four here. So looking at these Pokemon, man, it looks pretty good for this Pokemon. And then obviously Fusion Flare is going to be catching this Pokemon with it. However, it will Will not be fighting with this moveset and as far as taking down this pokemon it's going to take 2.35 trainers to take it down so doable man it would be very very challenging i don't think we quite have a strong enough pokemon in the game right now to duo a reshiram but if you guys do do it successfully please let me know and then we have reshiram so this is going to be a fire and a dragon as far as the megas to use obviously we will check out the counters here in a second with the counter megas but for the xl candy which i always suggest doing as opposed to getting extra damage from these megas i would suggest going in there with any type of fire the fire type Pokemon that we have available to us are going to be Mega Houndoom. We have Mega Charizard X or Y. Both combinations of the X will obviously work for us. And then we also have the Mega Blaziken that is going to be out there as well. And then as far as the Dragon typings, there are a decent amount of Pokemon out there. We have Mega Latios, Mega Latios. Both of those Pokemon are going to work. We have also the Mega Altaria. And then we also have the Mega Ampharos. So great Pokemon there. But the key here is Mega Level 3 Pokemon to get you the optimal XL candy. So please make sure to use your Mega Level 3s here when you do have the opportunity. So next, what we're going to look at is the top counters for this Pokemon in Pokemon Go. We're going to start off with some Shadow Pokemon and then we're going to go into a little bit more budget Pokemon. At the top, we do have two Shadow Dragons that are budget Shadows, but still, they are going to be a little bit more expensive. They're going to be Salamence, number one, Dragonite, number two, both with the moveset combination of Dragon Tail and Outrage. However, yes, the Salamence is going to be very, very strong. However, Dragonite is a very close second and it does not require an Elite TM, as does the Mega Salamence to be able to get the calm day move of outrage on that pokemon i have definitely elite tm'd one outrage salamance but at the same time if i had a good iv dratini i would definitely be using that dragonite and then in spot number three we have mega latios then we have mega aerodactyl and mega latios here followed by shadow latios and shadow tyranitar which then is going to take us out of these pokemon and we're going to go into the non shadows right now and then i will mention some budget counters as well number one we are looking at the rhyperi with smackdown and rock wrecker it is a budget counter it is a Pokemon that's relatively easy to obtain. However, it does require a Calm Day move. In the next spot, we do have the Dialga. Dialga, Dragon Breath, and Draco Meteor is not going to be a budget counter, but at the same time, this Pokemon is going to be doing very well against this Pokemon, especially being it neutral to Dragon moves with Steel and Dragon type combination. And next, we have the Rayquaza with Dragon Tail Outrage. Be careful of this Pokemon. It is going to be weak to Dragon and Stone Edge significantly because of its Flying type combination. And then we do have Rampardos with Smackdown and Rock Slide. This Pokemon is going to be a budget counter. We should have more 
more than enough XL candy. It is glassy, but at the same time, it does do a lot of damage. Then we have a Mega Gyarados, then we have a Haxorus, and then we have the Mega Swampert coming in here. And then the next two Pokemon I'm gonna highly suggest you guys do use is gonna be Garchomp and Salamence. These Pokemon are definitely gonna be weak to Dragon, but they are very strong. Dragon Tail Outrage on both of those. The Garchomp is another Pokemon that is gonna be an easier to acquire Pokemon, not requiring the Calm Day move of the Earth Power if you do want to do it like that. But if you do wanna use that Calm Day move, please go ahead and do so because more than likely, you guys did play the Gibble Calm Day and you do have that Pokemon. So those are gonna be the counters that we do look at right now. Let's change over into the weather conditions and see how this does affect this Pokemon. As far as the sunny weather, sunny weather will boost Reshiram all the way to level 25. It will boost all of our ground counters. So ground counters are gonna be the best utilized in this situation. And then finally, all the fire type attacks that are gonna be coming from Reshiram will be going after all our Pokemon here. Just a reminder that the move sets on these Pokemon will hit Dialga relatively hard, even though it is gonna be neutral to these moves. Partly cloudy weather will be boosting all of our rock type counters. As far as cloudy weather, we are gonna be getting a boost to none of the Pokemon that are gonna be effective here. Rainy weather, also not gonna to be too effective here. Snowy weather, not effective. We do have foggy weather will boost the crunch, not really too effective, but windy weather is gonna be amazing because windy weather will boost all of our dragon type counters and it will boost the restaurant to level 25, making it very, very strong. And at the same time, a great Stardust saver in Pokemon Go. So that's gonna be the restaurant counters. Tomorrow we'll be checking out the best of the best to see if the brand new moveset will be worth rating and powering up if it's gonna be better than overheat as far as a fire move in Pokemon Go. So thank you guys for tuning in as always. To all my likers, comments, subscribers, Patreon members. Everybody take your support, subscription, and participation to next level. See you guys out in the next video. Peace. I want to take this time to thank everybody who supports me in every facet. It means the world to me and an extra special thank you to all my Patreons. I greatly appreciate the extra support to continue to allow me to pursue Pokemon Go full time, allowing me to create my daily video uploads in the most timely fashion for everyone's benefit. Plus, I get the amazing experience of sharing my creative processes behind the scenes and raiding all around the globe with select upper tiers. Thank you everybody for being a part of the Trainer Club. You all mean the absolute world to me, and I will see you guys out on the next video.